whole bunch of free horse manure. The guy just dumped it here and then on the edge. And so I made it two, two big piles. And I let them sit for over a year. And this pile over here, you can see it's a little higher, was seven layers of manure and hay. And this pile was six layers of manure and hay. And then now, basically, they're all ready. I just need to just get out here and just keep forking it over. And what I've done, you, you can't be able to tell, I'm so about here. Actually, out here with my shovel and just go like that, see? And so I work down and then just keep throwing it and throwing it over here and stuff like that. And I've tilled it a few times too, see? So, but it's, it's real rich, and this is probably where I'm going to have tomatoes and then cucumbers now. now. This is more cover crops, this is more favas for nitrogen fixing. Favas can put 170 to 200 pounds of nitrogen in your soil per acre. That's a lot. That's what you need for uh, 10 to 20 pounds. So these are some raised beds. Tony's going to use this one for herbs. And I'm going to plant some salad mix in in the middle of March. And it was so cold that it didn't come up, but you can see it's starting to come up now. And there, I just bagged it, put some more soil on, and then actually I'm doing experiment planting the salad mix in, in real tight rows instead of just by broadcasting. So, you know the difference between broadcasting and direct seeding? Okay, broadcasting, what you do is you make the seed bed as good as you can. And you take and you just go, just throw your, you know, walk back or whatever, and throw your, your seed out. And then you take something like uh, a rake and you rake it in. That's if you want it real, real uh, shallow, like where it's deep. If you want it deeper, what you can do is you can put actually go over with a tiller and set your tiller real shallow. And that'll till it in to one or two inches deep. And that's what I did. I'll show you my, my winter peas. That's what I did with them last fall. So these, these two guys are going up. There's my tulips. And then that's open still. Here's some garlic down here. And I got leeks and onions and stuff. This is my onion, my allium bed this year. Because alliums will stunt the growth of, of beans and peas. So you want to you know, segregate them from your beans and peas. And I use companion planting a lot. But the, the main thing about companion planting is uh, you know, keeping the beans and, the, and, and the peas and the uh, onions separate. Now this is kind of interesting. I got a whole bunch of um, rootstock last year, so I can make some grafts, apple tree grafts. So I got some apple rootstock. This is an M111. It's a semi-dwarf from Siberia. It's, it'll take temperatures as low as 30 below. It's good in droughts. It's a real hardy rootstock. So when you get this rootstock from rainwater nursery, or rain tree nurseries, they're about this long. We only need about that much. So what you got is you got a stick, a scion, you know, at the end. So what I did is I, I wet it, put it in rooting compound, and stuck it in buckets, stuck them in buckets of compost. Some came back. This one's the best example. That was just a, a branch stuck in the ground, and it came back. Now it's a tree, and you can see that it's starting to bud. Okay. So that is free rootstock, and it's not, it's not good apples because apples don't breed true. What you do when you cut open an apple and you take the seed out, you're going to get a gigantic variation. See, so that's why you graft apples onto a hardy rootstock. And that's why you propagate them with grafting. So anyway, so I, I might just keep those two kind of apples it produces. We'll see. But uh, this is my tulips. These are called Rembrandt tulips because they got that variegated stripe on them. So I just got a couple. And these just came up in the last 24 hours. Wow. Came, and then, came and then the snow came. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hello. And then so... Let's get on here. I'll show you. The, my other cover crop was the Austrian field peas. You see these guys? They're, they're winter peas, what they are. And, and they're really not good for anything except for cover crop. And what it does is it just covers the soil for, you know, to stop the erosion, right? And then, so I'll just till all that in. And here's where what I did was I just, I just spread them out by hand, just threw them out. And then I went over this whole thing with my tiller at a real shallow depth and just tilled it in so you know one or two inches deep and then it just came up. So that's what you can do for broadcasting. And then down there I got some more, um, uh, oh no, it's right here. These are some more carrots that you have to dig. So I still got plenty of, plenty of carrots and stuff. And this is uh, some kale going to seed. These are, you ever see, when, when you get garlic, sometimes they have the, 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 the escape that curls up and then later it forms a, a bulb at the end. And those little bulbils, you can plant them, and they do, they're doing just as good as my other garlic that I planted for okay, So this is all bulbil garlic. That'll be garlic. 
and then I got you know all kinds of other garlic down there. I got about six different varieties of garlic. That's wild. <laughs> it was crazy. Snow on April 18th. Oh my gosh. <laughs> April 8th. Is it the 18th today? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So what my priorities are, I got five markets. I got the Fernando Farmers Market, on farm sales, my CSA program, uh, Growing Washington, and uh, Divine Gardens, Kirk's Bice for the restaurants. Oh, okay. So I have multiple markets. So that's why I have all these things that I can, I can spread out and I can shift them to different things depending on how much I got, right? So the first priority is CSA boxes. So for instance, if, if I got enough raspberries for one or the other, they go in the CSA box and they don't go in the market. But if I got enough for CSA boxes and market, then I can go to market and sell the market. What's Growing Washington? That's a, that's a nonprofit that it's kind of like an interface between growers and the public. And so they, uh, um, they're, they have very little overhead. They don't even have offices. And so they allow me to set my price and then they, they add on a little extra when they sell the restaurant stuff. And so they, they also have taken over um, Alm Hill Gardens out in Everson. And that's uh, a big, that's a big uh, organic farm. Mm -hmm. And Gretchen Hoyt and Ben Kraft been doing that for years, and now they they, they want to retire, so I'm going to Washington's taking that over, and so they're doing that. And so they, so they have a, a just food CSA, which is they get outside money to buy CSA shares for poor people, and they have a growing Whatcom CSA, which is multiple farms. So they, for instance, they'll get say potatoes from me and, and cabbages from Mike Neuroth or something. See, they'll you know, put them all together every week. CSA box for exactly yeah cool. yeah see so they they have they have a couple of CSA programs they also sell the uh, in, in the uh, farm to cafeteria program and they'll probably do the you know in the, the school initiative thing they came up you know local food thing right. they'll be involved in that yeah. they've got their Elm Hill Gardens they got another farm on King County that's actually at Woodenville called 21 Acres and they've got um, they sell the restaurants in Seattle and Bellingham they sell to uh, um, they go to like 15 uh, farmers markets a week, you know, from here to Seattle. They got a whole bunch in Seattle, and uh, so so anyway, so they buy from me, and, and you know, last year they, uh, you know, they did we did good business. This year they're gonna buy even more from me because they just don't have enough people. See, so they have to they have to get more and more as they as they grow. Last year they had 28 CSA shares and they walk them CSA, and this year Jay wanted to get 100. Well, that means that they're gonna buy. You know, three or four times as much food for me as they did last year. 